Today's video is about automation. Obviously, the highs and lows of automation, how Fanat can overcome that, and how Fanat can implement automation into your workplace. We've come today because we have very little automation outside the uh, punching machines and, and laser cutting machines which we have but everything else beyond that is um, manual labour so we're finding um, a skill shortage in the manual labour market for, us, for our type of industry therefore uh, the natural thing for us is to look for automation whereas if we're more reliant on machinery and the people have a less uh, complicated job to do then we're only we're, we're we only have to think about getting the right people to support the machinery and not to do the actual work. So it, it's potentially it gives us a lot of room for growth. So Andy, what are you doing to engage young people into the industry? Well, what we're doing, we're, um, we're sending out our apprentices, hopefully into local schools. We, we want to engage with 20 local schools for the future to try and get people engaged about engineering, what it means uh, for their careers, um, and hopefully the skill set for the future of robotics and automation. I think on a bigger point, we need other companies around the um, UK to be able to do a similar thing. We can't engage with every school in the UK. There's quite a few thousand, but you know, if we can get a network of like-minded companies to engage with the future engineers in their area, I think that's really a positive point for, uh, for UK manufacturing. Today I came here to try to network with uh, the leaders in the industry, uh, to learn about what's going on in robotics through, through the UK. So what have you learned about robotics in the UK? Well, um, I, I see that, you know, uh, even though we all come from different industries, we all share the same uh, concerns and the same uh, challenges towards implementing automation in our factories. So what, how has the automation helped you within your industry? Well, um, in, in the aerospace industry, it's a little bit difficult to implement automation because of the size of our product, basically. So in trying to understand how we can measure correctly, how we can implement the process correctly, and how can we you know, bring automation into our factories and all, all the aspects of the product. How do you see automation helping industries across the globe? Well, I believe that's the only way to go. I mean, the the uh, right now we're we're in in a in a in a race towards you know giving the customer what they need, and the only way to get to that point is to implement more automation in all, everything we do throughout you know the industry. Uh, it's not enough to have one piece of automation in this cell and nothing completely manual in another cell. We need to have a, a you know a holistic view on everything that's going on and try to implement automation through and through. Let's talk industry statistics. So for every 10,000 people, there are 99 robots. That's a global average. The UK sit beneath that at 93 to 94. Germany and Japan sit at 340. And South Korea sit at a whopping 700 robots per 10,000 people. So we've learned that the UK is below average. So really, the question is, how do we implement robotics in our workplace? And where do you start? We'll help the customers understand what automation can do for them. We'll have a look at their uh, ideas they've got. We'll help them prove out um, processes, use of vision, line tracking, you know, before they make a commitment um, to a, a purchase order with us. You know, we're, we're here to help and understand and get uh, customers to a point where they're very confident with uh, automation and, and the way forward. Now, what do you think people will be learning from holding an event like this? Uh, this is this is really about showing people where you can use automation, the different techniques. We've got over 25 uh, displays here, all showing different applications, different use of robotics, vision, collaborative robots, machine tending, palletizing. It's, it's just really the whole, we're trying to engage in the whole industry, UK industry, to make uh, people sit up and look at automation because automation is here, we're falling behind other European countries in the uptake of automation. We want to promote that going forward um, and really get UK manufacturing as efficient as possible. We're a manufacturing company based in Bradford and we make refrigerated cabinets for the supermarkets, so where you buy your chilled foods from. Basically we don't have any uh, robotics or automation to speak of, so we've come here today 
to look at what's available and how we may integrate that into our production. I know nothing about the automation, especially robotics. You see it everywhere, um, so we now come to have a look and get over the fear and see what's available. Don't be scared of the robots, you know. We, we, for sure, they're, they're a little bit different from day-to-day -day stuff, but you know, it, they're easy to program, they're getting easier, user interfaces are being developed to make life really simple for, for end users. And you start at the bottom with some simple processes and build your experience up over, over time um, to hopefully be confident that you can put complex automation systems in place. We're not, I'm not sure how it will improve it, whether it's going to be able to replace humans or not. So it's, it's a matter of uh, suck it and see basically, and see what we can learn and how we can integrate that into our business. We still need to employ people and not make them redundant and just become reliant on robots. So yeah, that's a good thing. At the end of the day, we just want to see what we can do to improve the business. And then if robots work, with the way we work now, then that's a good thing. Fanic obviously build robotics. Um, we need partners in specialised areas for lots of different sectors to provide solutions for end customers. So we have here welding integrators, we have machine tending partners, we have end of line palletising solutions and lots of other uh, automation solutions for end customers. It's Peter Keeling from KMS Projects Limited we are using robots in the field to harvest broccoli. Initially I was in injection moulding where we used Fanuc robots to, to demold moulding machines and that's the way we've come from and that's where we've, we've come through. As I say, they lent me a machine to start with um, which were very helpful. Um, we are on a single rig at the moment and we're going to three headed rigs early part of next year. It can run 24-7 which is totally alien to the way farms work at the moment. Um, in fact, it's cooler at night and better time to run the machines is through the night time. Farmers ask how quickly do they get their money back and we reckon between two and two and a half years they will get the initial outlay back. Uh, it's going to make them more efficient and more productive going forward. Um, and I think you know, for us in the UK it's difficult to get hold of labour in certain areas. There are projects and processes that you need automation because the physical people aren't there. From a health and safety perspective, it makes life easier for a lot of heavy lifting, repetitive work, but also robots in collaboration um, modes will help with difficult tasks and help make um, an operator's life more easy. Well, collaborative, is, it means we can, we can interact with the robots more, more easily. So at the moment, we have large, ro very large robots behind safety fences, which means we need more space in the factory, we need to keep the people away. Um, if we can be more collaborative, we can, we can do different kinds of processes, innovate a little bit. Well, Fanuc is one of the two major manufacturers we use within our, our factory globally. Um, they, they, they give us very good prices, which is one, one good, good reason. But also, they, they're always uh, inventing new types of robot, new, pro, new process for us, processes for us. So, you know, it's, it's, we find we, we have a very good partnership with Fanuc. There's a seminar happening at the moment, but we snuck out of it because I wanted to talk to you. From my perspective, I wanted to tell you what I've learned. And really, robotics, covers such a wide variety of industries and it's Fanuc can tailor make that robot to suit your industry. I've also learned that it's not just about, you know, people and replacing people. People want skilled members of staff to be working for them. So really robotics is working on behalf of problems where you might have, you know, favorable conditions or lights out running. There's so many issues that come up and where robotics provide a solution. So let's come and find out a little bit more. There's lots of different applications, but you know we, we, we're seeing a greater uptake of automation in the UK, and we, we, we're here as Fanuc to help help uh, facilitate that process. So I work for a Honda EU research uh, department, where we have to investigate the latest technology in the market and report to Japan. And Fanuc is a wonderful company; it's a partner of Honda, and uh, there are Fanuc robots uh, all over the world. So it's a perfect opportunity to come here and see what is the latest technology technology they are offering to their customers. So automation is very important because you can get a good efficiency, you can solve many problems that you have 
in the, in the world uh, oper operation with uh, where operators they have to handle uh, very heavy staff or they have operations that they are very challenging or very difficult so you can add uh, automation in terms of a robot or a vision system and it can help the operators but at the same time they can stop doing the boring stuff and focus more in, in more important things. Well, we're at the point, uh, we're a very small business, uh, an SME, where we have uh, an e-commerce business and we're selling product out on a daily basis. And the point we're at now is we're just considering whether we should actually employ people to pack goods or look at the robotics opportunity. And the key for us is really that ROI. So as a small business, employing less than 10 people at the moment, do we look at robotics because we can pack in 24-7 or do we look at actually employing people and the cost analysis that we're looking at at the moment is the key to the drive, key driver to our business. Here at Fanning we have all the information for, to help people understand what that return of investment looks like. We'll work with everybody to, to give them the details, the cycle times, all the information um, and, and ultimately understand the investment they've got to make and how long it will take to pay back. This event has shown that although the UK is currently behind in the use of automation, with a company like FANUC, the implementation of robotics is not nearly as daunting as once thought. It is time to change our way of thinking. It is time to invest in your future.